Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to the Daily Political Terror Readings here on the Black and Orange channel. Thank you for being here. And uh, look who we have. Sarah's here. Yay. Hello. It is Arbor Day, just to let you know. So, yes. um, oh boy. And Miss Sarah has been kind enough to come on today because people have people have done lost their minds up in I here mean, up in here yes <laughs> hey, oh boy. I, i'm i'm always for some good tea and yeah. and like yeah i i dig a good cup of tea hello desert dawn um but uh it's uh <laughs> today today okay do you want to finish the intro before we dive in, or uh, just I'm I'm just uh, refreshing the page with the questions. Uh, make sure I've got everything here, yeah. and I do. Except, of course, um, Windows thinking I'm trying to split up my screen, which I'm not. Windows, I'm not. Leave it alone. <laughs> Leave it alone, Pierce. Okay. So yes, Anna, we're spilling all kinds of tea. Oh my gosh, the tea today. So, just so you know, I'm here every single day of the year. Sometimes Sarah is kind enough to come on with me, which is wonderful. And um, thank you guys. Uh, I'm here 365 days of the year. I take your 12 political questions out of the chat. I take them out of the chat between like 11 and 12 Chicago time, just like just in the hour before I come on. So just put your questions in before I come on. And during the live stream, anything in all caps is how you communicate with me. And other than that, please just type normally. People are so kind to each other here and so supportive and have whole conversations. Uh, so uh, there is that. 10% of my income from everything black and orange goes to Feeding America at feedingamerica.org, which supplies food to food banks across the country. That is an ongoing thing. And if you're watching this on replay, hello, you can go down in the description box. The questions are all listed out and I timestamp them as I go. So you can just pick and choose. You don't have to sit through the whole thing if you don't want to. You can have the political, political tarot buffet. A veritable smorgasbord. Yes, a political tarot. <laughs> um, do, do, do. Saturday night, day after tomorrow. No, tomorrow night. It's Friday. Yes. Tomorrow night uh, is the uh, monthly uh, patron tarot social. We have, you have me for two hours if you're a, 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 a member on Patreon. Um, it's It's really not that. It's really not that expensive. Um, it's it's literally like a couple of dollars. But I understand some of you are on really tight budgets. I trust me, I understand that. But if if you're interested, um, usually there's only about twenty of us, and I I we read on anything. We rarely talk about politics and everything from the far future and spirituality and deep space and and. Uh, celebrities from the past and you know all kind of stuff so that's tomorrow night from 8 to 10 p.m um i am also very quickly just want to mention i am starting a thing where right now i am at 13,300 subscribers and thank you for that thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you uh once i hit 14,000 and from there on every time i hit 14,000, 15,000, 16,000, if I do. Uh, I'm going, anyone signed up for the newsletter, the Book Art Media newsletter, link in the description box, uh, will be entered to win a free half hour personal reading from me. It's wow. Something completely new. And you could be anywhere in the world, as long as you have access to to, to uh, Zoom or, or we'll, you know, we'll work something out. So Figure something out, yeah. All right, I think... That's it for the moment. Okay. It is. We are for, um, let's just say we are at five minutes in. One second here. Let me just put this in. And we will start with, oh, Lisa Graham, the, yes, January 6th, 
uh, January 6th select committee hearing starts on June 9th. Indeed, I have been uh, looking at the astrology of that and we'll be talking about it. If not today, then maybe tomorrow. Okay. I do want to start off by saying, Anna, please take care. As someone who has in the past few weeks been stuck in a tornado limbo, uh, take care of yourself, sweetheart. And if you know, you've got to come back later, totally get it, but to make sure you're safe. So. Oh, uh, the Twitter alternative um, that I was looking at, I haven't joined yet, but it's called counter social. Uh, but I don't know I, right now. I'm still on Twitter. I, I, I have a sense, you know, I've been having a feeling that another shoe was going to drop be so before I go to all the trouble of getting rid of Twitter and moving stuff, I just want to wait a while but um i'm not i'm not a i'm not a fan of this this action so uh paula will the free reading be tarot or astrology um that's a good question i could do some astrology winner choose yeah winner choose um but i'm not um, I'm not as well versed on when is something going to happen to me? When am I going to find the love of my life? When am I, my, my knowledge of astrology is stronger when it comes to what kind of person am I? What are my strengths? What am I here to do? Um, how do I get the things I want by An overall life reading? Overall. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. General life reading. Yeah. So a general life reading in astrology or a uh, tarot uh, reading, uh, 30 minutes, all yours. Okay. Anyway, B. Smith says, I quit Twitter yesterday. I'm looking at counter social and Mastodon. Oh, I hadn't heard of them. All right. So seven, I'll say, okay, now let's try 715. <laughs> We're a little wordy. Um, Everyone get your tea glasses out. He's up. <laughs> Here we go. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's see here. Our favorite. Uh, Green Goblin. Yes, Green Goblin um, has gotten herself in some, uh, in, a, in a war of words with the Catholic Church. Basically, she took a swing. They hit back. She said the bishops were controlled by Satan and possibly pedophiles. The conservatives in the church have labeled her. Oh, no, no, no. We need to go through this step by step. We need, because this okay. is this is this is gold. Yes. Okay. So, um, Ms. Green uh, did an interview earlier this week with a an extremely conservative right wing sect of the church. They are so conservative and so out there that the church doesn't even want them labeled Catholic. Officially. Like they're like out there. And she basically said that by um, the church charities um, helping people and immigrants and whatnot, that they were actually being controlled by Satan and not following the teachings of Christ. Because it was a charity who were helping poor. Hang on. I have to take my phone off for this one. I was raised Catholic and I seem to remember a little something about Yahshua's, Yahshua of Nazareth being kind of yeah. big on the mm -hmm. help the poor and the needy and the visitors firm and you would me and Treat them as you would yourself. Was he squeeze box? Yes, welcome the stranger. <laughs> um, so, but said, but she specifically targeted the Catholic Church and the Catholic Church charities. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a, a so, question in the in the chat from Al. What Bible is she reading? She's reading the America Bible. Go ahead. Sorry. Oh no, you're good. So the um, the leader of the Catholic Church charities and the um, uh, the conservative sect of the Catholic Church 
who is bum, ba, da, bum. hang on bill donahue he's the president of the catholic league and uh he helps run the catholic charities um pop back with she had plenty of opportunities to make rational criticisms of the agency meaning the charities but instead she slandered the entire catholic church satan is controlling the catholic church she needs to apologize to catholics immediate uh, immediately she's a disgrace understandable yeah. okay yes. well marjorie got all up in her fifis and decided in for a penny in for a pound basically <laughs> So she said, and I quote, I stopped attending Catholic, excuse me, he doesn't know this, but I am a cradle Catholic. I stopped attending Catholic mass when I became a mother because I realized I could not trust the church leadership to protect my children from pedophiles and that they harbored monsters even in their own ranks. She clarified that she had not meant all Catholics are controlled by Satan. It's the church leadership I was referring to when I invoked the devil. She said, just so we're clear, bishops, when I say controlled by Satan, I wasn't talking about the Catholic church. I was talking about you. He's up. So, um, Ooh, boy. So now conservative Catholics are like, wait a minute. Hold up. Like, we know there's some issue, but that's, that, that ain't all of us. And, ma'am, this is not what we signed up for when we endorsed you. Like, so, um, yeah, Trillium. Yeah. She's hanging around gates but complaining about people harboring pedophiles. What a shock. So, yeah, exactly. That was a direct quote, Miss Cat. So, um, Vicki C says, someone's got some Hail Marys coming. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, how's that, uh, how, how's that going to work out for her? Wow. <laughs> I haven't been Catholic since I was 16. Mm -hmm. And my entire family's Catholic. And straight up called her grifter. That made me that 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 made me laugh. So not my family, unfortunately, but the the person person called her a grifter. Yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry. Yes. But um that's a big old death card. Ooh. Things may not work out well for her. Mm. Somebody ran their mouth. Whoopsies. That is the most Christian mm -hmm. card in the deck. Yeah, it's got the freaking dove a piece on it. I mean, you know. <laughs> it and the chalice more. and the yeah. symbol in the... Um, it's hard to skip the thing to, but there's a, in the mouth of that bird mm -hmm. is a host as, yeah, this is the most Catholic card in the deck. And yes, I know most Catholics think this is itself the work of the devil, but whatever. Um, King of Cups. moon howling at the moon four of pentacles and six of cups um you may not you may have have a little, little bit of trouble raising some money muy piquito because let me because because i will say this marjorie trader green green goblin you need the cat the catholics more than the catholics need you in a big mm -hmm. way. Or fish yeah. Friday dinner. Yeah. This is that guy, that church, that Catholic Charities mm -hmm. leader. That's him. Catholic Church. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, oh man. oh hell no. <laughs> mm. Uh this is maybe not giving funds and they go right about their Catholic ways. Bye bye. 
Like, why would she want to tick more people off when she's already losing money? Because she's not saying what she's saying because of just political calculus. She really believes this crazy stuff. And she really believes that in her own hype and what she, she says exactly what she thinks, which is, we know, deluded and messed up. And now this is, you know, look, I'm not Catholic anymore. I have my issues with the Catholic Church. And yes, they did. They very much had a, a problem with um, mm -hmm. not protecting children. But to paint the entire Catholic Church with that brush, no, that's not that's not right. Anna says Catholics give a lot of money. Yeah, I mean, I I, I say at the beginning how I give ten percent of my income to feeding America. I'm I'm tithing is what it is, and it's you know that's just I feel that that's the one part of Catholicism that I have kept a, a belief in the divine and, and a belief in tithing. Oh boy. Is that, is, is that, is that the clock ticking down in the distance for somebody's political career? <laughs> You're really good at that. Thank you. Yes. Queen of Pentacles. Some people in trouble when you have, you know, six children running around the house tend to be a, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's what you do to get yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That's a ticket. So, yes. It says similar things. This is her, the Queen of Pentacles, with her far right message. She stood up like an idiot, she upset a lot of people. And the, church, the, the Catholics, they don't need you. They don't need you. So I got the same thing again. Yeah. Um, shouldn't she say they should apologize instead of her? Yes. Yes. They need to apologize for calling her a grifter. And um, that she was a disgrace. And... Um, a craven enabler and they they went one step further that it's a word that i'm not going to use on this one but um the blank of babylon is basically yeah that without, was without the of babylon part in there that was a little bit more than that didn't need to be said the rest of it eh, but the rest eh, no but um yeah mm. well she does have the um isn't it today the judge in her in that that court hearing of hers is supposed to come out with his ruling mm -hmm. um so she's got that court battle going on and that's what this is talking about her love of trump and she's a she's a bully but this is a page this is saying how unimportant she is she, you know, the 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 far the far right, the really devoted far right. They've got Trump. They've got DeSantis. They've got Abbott. Yeah. They they don't need <clears throat> an obnoxious, unfeminine, from their viewpoint, unfeminine, mm -hmm. loudmouth who doesn't have any power. She doesn't have any power. She's not on any committees. And she's not working with others to get legislation passed. She has no power. She's a woman and she's an unfeminine woman. And she doesn't really like, if you look as someone who was raised in, in church, when you look at Marjorie Taylor Greene, you don't immediately think there is a Proverbs 31 woman. It just doesn't. You know, and, and that's what they want everybody to be. The, the meek, mild, you know, subservient, you know, what? the first to husband and all things. But it's all in Proverbs 31. But that's what the that's what the goal of femininity is supposed to be. I don't and, know it's Proverbs 31. Yeah. I'll have to look it up. Yeah, it's it's yeah. 
It's the whole, yeah. Mm. But, you know, what a woman is supposed to be in public and in, in her family and in her marriage. And, oh. The Proverbs, the Proverbs 31 woman pursues the wisdom of God instead of wisdom of the world. And is not concerned with what seems right according to the world. Instead, she focuses on God's truth. Her biggest desire is to honor God. Mm -hmm. But this actual thing they've pulled up in the um, she is she is clothed. Where is it? She is clothed clothed with strength and dignity. She laughs without fear of the future. Mm -hmm. When she speaks, her words are wise, and she gives instructions with kindness. Proverbs 31, 25 to 26. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. So, yeah, she's, she's feeling more and more disposable. And I imagine the January 6th committee... Oh, that's what we should look at. 2021. 20, Hang on. Because we've got more tea after this. Boy, oh boy, do we ever. All right. Yeah, and, and, I won't have to step out, though. No, no, I understand. Do you yeah. need to go right now? No, Um, I, I've got about 10 more minutes. Okay. Um, January 6th. I had a previous appointment. Oh, goodness. Okay, um, so I just want to know the, on June... Jennifer Johnson says she can't remember that proverb. Ah. <laughs> uh, Jennifer has just won the internet today. Okay, um, June, June 9th, the January 6th Select Committee hearings are going to begin. Mm -hmm. Yes, June 9th. Um, we don't know what time of day yet, so I can't I can't get like I can't run the the precise um, the precise start time, but I can get a general idea of what's going on that day astrologically. But uh, Marjorie Trader Green and the January six six January six select committee hearings. Thank you. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Is is her is that that clicking talk clicking talk? Ticking clock. Um is it is 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 the bell toll ask not for whom the bell tolls because it's tolling for her? Oh, they're coming. The wise council is coming. The wise council is coming. King of Cups. That's that's wise count. The wise council. This is people on the far right on the on the, the defensive. Oh my goodness, that's a six of swords. These are some legal, potentially uh, criminal things exposed. They really worked together to put this together. And howling at the moon. Uh, Y'all best get at your popcorn. <laughs> this yeah. Is, mm. uh, because they've got stuff. And the thing is, is she, this is this is bad energy for her, but she's not even here. She's not even she it's it just her, like her importance is just vanishing. So but the count, I'm getting this really strongly. The council is coming. Oh boy. Lisa Graham says it's time for the elders to kick some butt. <laughs> exactly. Rhonda Cox at MSNBC said around 8 p.m. I hope so. All right, at 24.30. So last night, did this come out? Uh, well, um, well, let, let me, yes, let me yes, this right. we've, we've heard a lot about Madison Cawthorn recently, everything from getting caught with a loaded gun at the airport. Repeatedly. Yes. Of 
driving on a suspended license more than once, I believe. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. On, I mean, um, a, there was a pump and dump scheme for crypto that uh, he was involved in that may or may not be illegal because the things about crypto aren't quite as yeah. down yet in, in law. Uh, there's just more and more. And then he came out and he he talked about that whole fake, please let it be fake, the idea of a an adult party uh, for members of Congress, members of Congress having adult parties with adult activities and including some people I idolized, he said, which made it sound like it was Republicans he was talking about and the Republicans washed their chilies. Um, yes, lost their chilies is a good, uh... How do you pronounce the word again? Because the the snake were you talking oh, about? Ouroboros or or Roboros. or Roboros. The GOP is a gigantic Roboros. They're eating their own at this point. Um, so uh, the wheels of the bus went round and round, and the GOP just yeeted Madison Cawthorn in front of it, so it ran him over. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> Shall I share? So, you explain and I'll, I'll do the show and tell. You, yeah, you definitely can. Um, he uh, was inadvertently, presumably outed last night um, by the GOP. Members of the GOP, far right papers. Uh, he, uh, the Vin, uh, video and Venmo transactions between he and a staffer. And he's being brought up on ethics uh, an ethics probe for possible charges because of the um, behavior that he had with the staffer and money that he paid his staffer that <clears throat> could have been for favors. Yes. And, and on the one yeah. hand with the, we don't, I don't think it's been verified, verified, but at the same time, Newsweek has now picked it up. Yes. And, um, and this is, why? This is the, go ahead. No, I, 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 I don't understand why one of the first things they don't teach you in GOP primary school is to stop putting your Venmo transactions public. That's what got Gates. And now this is what got Cawthorn. When you send somebody money on Venmo, you have, you could click a button and it's private. Nobody sees. If you don't, anybody in the world can see all of your stuff and all of your whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. yeah. So, so if you're saying you've already seen this, so do you do you do you not want me to? I'm gonna. I, don't I'm gonna know if, sure. I think it it might go a little over your PG. There's some wording there that's a little and some. Visual. No, actually, the the, the visual. The, actually, I don't think it's that bad. Okay. I don't think it's that bad. This is this is the video. Filled with passion and desire, would like to see a naked body beneath my hands. Me too. I yeah. <laughs> I like as well. Yeah. Filled with passion and desire, would like to see a naked body beneath my hands. Me too. I yeah. <laughs> I like as well. Yeah. Cool. Okay, there's that. And maybe they were joking around, but if this is true, they also, this is the Venmo. To Stephen Smith, oh, sorry, Stephen Smith paid Madison Cawthorn for loving me daily and nightly. Madison Cawthorn paid Stephen Smith uh, at the airport. Madison Cawthorn paid Stephen Smith the stuff we did in Amsterdam. I feel like I feel like Nathan Fillion, and I get it. Gen Z jokes about stupid crap. I have Gen Z children. They 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 they're not as serious about certain things as those older than them. But right, and I, I don't I don't. And in fact, is even if it's well, here's the thing though. Even if even. There's nothing wrong just, with being gay. There's nothing wrong with being no, gay. No, 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 no. Do your thing. Right. But 
there are ethics things you can't you're not supposed to have those kind of relationships with your staff members and they're I'm it, paying for it there there are serious uh, ethics issues here yeah. um twinkle bell i agree the video looks like it's all in fun but the venmo is another story yeah well, the thing about the thing, of, okay, the video is all in fun. I don't believe anything serious was going on in the video, but you you don't. How do I put this? You don't make. There's a special level of intimacy you have with someone to even joke like that without them like, oh, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, you don't just randomly joke and put your hand on somebody's personhood in that way if there's not an extreme deep level of super duper friendship or intimacy of another sort you just i mean yeah um jen glenn is saying i'm gen z and that is definitely a little more than friends yeah and here's the thing you and i've been best friends for 10 years i would and never met mm -mm. no and no We've been best friends for 10 years. We've never met in person. No. That's true. But yeah. even if we had, I love you, but no, it's just, and you wouldn't, it's not your thing either. And, you know. Jennifer the staffer is his roommate? roommate. Oh, she's Zuzel. <laughs> well, here's a man with his wand. I don't make it. I didn't make the cards. Judgment with evidence. <laughs> old fogey, old fogey emperor guys, right in the middle. Ace of cups and swords can be legislative work as well as. Legal stuff, crickets. Mm. So old fogey people are not happy. Not happy. And, you know, they might have been willing to look past all this had he not just tried to run them over with the bus first. Like he right. chartered a bus and they were like, nah, son, this is how you do it. Yeet. And <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's. That's kind of. Mm -hmm. But this feels like he's going to be pushed out. He's being, no, he's being pushed out. Yeet. Right there. As the kids say, yeet us to lead us. So. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. All right. Well, I know you need to go, but I'm so, thank yes, you I so do. much for, for oh, stopping. Oh, thank you for having me. And you guys are so awesome. You guys are so awesome. Autumn's got some heavy stuff coming up, but you guys just keep the energy up, keep it moving, keep it going, keep being supportive of each other. Domes up, domes like slap some concrete over the mofo. <laughs> Sorry, domes. Okay, thank yes. you. I love you all. Be my neighbor, Hi, bye neighbor. Bye. We'll see you later. All right. Bye. Please, won't you be? Now, after having said all of that, it's Arbor Day. Because <laughs> that's what's most important. Whew. All right. So welcome to Arbor Day. Fuzzy cuteness is snoozing. That little that little lump right there. That's that's bubble. Um, Janelle says that was fun. Oh, I think so. Oh boy, yeah. Both of these people. He's getting elbowed out, and and Marjorie Tra uh, Cawthorn feels like he's getting elbowed out, and Marjorie Trader Green feels like she's just I'm melting. So, 
Oh, Joan, uh, that was uh, that was Sarah. Uh, she doesn't have a channel right now, uh, but she's uh, she's on with me in the afternoons uh, for the creative sprints. So and she's just such a great person. OK. OK, 35 minutes in. 3530. So can we get on with the Mark Meadows thing, please, Garland? Today is April 29th, 2022. On April 22nd, so a week ago, Thompson and Cheney statement on motion for summary judgment in Mark Meadows litigation. There's a link in the description. They put something out and uh, it said basically it was hello, DOJ, hello, do something. And we still haven't heard anything. So what's going on? with the DOJ and Mark Meadows, because this has been going on for months now, months, plural, plural months. Joan Barrett said when she was like, nah, son, yeet, I was like, where do I sub? <laughs> She's awesome. Yep, Revolution Rookie Purge Retreat or Free. Yep. But right now, let's look at what's going on with DOJ and Mark Meadows. Hey. Excuse me. Excuse me. Is anybody, I'd like to talk to somebody about what's going on with Mark Meadows and the committee, hello, saying, um, uh, he's he's in contempt of Congress. Anyone? Bueller. Bueller. Jennifer Johnson, I am with you. I'd love to see the remaining 1,000 texts from Meadows. Yes. Whew. All right. Lisa Graham says, we need a wellness check on Garland and the DOJ. <laughs> Hello? Anybody here? I'll bring pastries. You know, coffee, pastries. Give you guys a little jump, a little jump start, a little extra energy, something. He, they tried to destroy our democracy and it. Okay. I got an extra card. I was point cards, but let's see what we've got here. All right. Ten of cups. That's, well, the hearings are coming. The council is coming. Ace of the truth. The council with the truth is coming. Ace of swords. Lover's card. Then I got two cards together. Uh, nine of cups and uh, king of wands. This is all the evidence laid out. It's also the shape of a hearing, the, those hearing um, big desky things. <laughs> I'm sure there's a real name for them, but those big things all the, the committee members sit around about Trump and the insurrection. And the eight and everything that was done, the right did. So we are going to finally see some prime time stuff here. The truth coming out uh, about the the and and this is really that that is an angel casting. This is judgment and. Um, but it's judgment on the cult members, the far right Trumpists, and the they've got because they've got the evidence, 
There's nothing here about Meadows. Unless, unless this is Meadows and this is his other emails, but they, they've, they've got everything laid out. The committee has everything laid out. Now, there are people on the far right, no matter what happens, no matter what comes out, you know, it's not going to do anything, but. Oh, thank you, Hippie Gypsy. Meadows, are you going, now, so what, they're just not going to bother? Why is the DOJ not doing anything? Why are they not indicting, charging? Why are they not charging Meadows with the crime that the committee has asked them to charge? Two of Cups. The committee was working together, doing what they should have been doing. Where are you? Five of Cups. Emperor. Queen of Pentacles. King of Swords, King of Pentacles. We got some of the information from Meadows, but not all of it, because trying to get the, the text, the thousand or so text messages of Meadows that he's not releasing are probably very much directly more more directly related to Trump. And this is a prosecutor, but it's right in the middle between, between the king and the queen of pentacles, with the queen of pentacles in the middle. So this isn't just, I mean, prosecutor and Meadows, but right here, these are the others where it's Bannon, that trial's gonna start soon, Bannon, Scavino, Navarro, and Meadows, but prosecution, that's a prosecutor and that is Meadows. So something, but I'm not seeing big, gosh, we're, we're gonna wake up and smell some fresh coffee and charges for Mark Meadows. Kathy Rollins says Meadows singing to them, working out a plea deal. That's not what the committee is saying. The committee's not seeing any of that, anything. All right, the committee is annoyed. Temperance. Really? Two of Wands. Four of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. Page of Swords. Four of Cups. Don't hold your breath. The far right communication. There are some people who are definitely exposed to, to potential criminal and this this feels like protection disappearing. This is the rise of the, the committee, uh, democratic power as well. And this is a bully who refuses to to work with them. That's all I'm getting. If if they're going to go after Meadows, it's the energy is weak. 
I don't get it. Why? Why are they not going after Meadows? It took me reading uh, the sentence a couple of times before I understood. Uh, Gary Atkins said, we may temperance our way right into fascism. Yep. So, DOJ, why? Two of Pentacles. Five of Swords, Sun. Ten of Wands. It's a burden. That, this is insult to injury, and this is the burden on the far right. I wonder if Meadows is willing, you might have something. I wonder if Meadows is willing to testify against some of the white supremacy groups. Meh. Hmm. Okay. DOJ Meadows just swanning around doing his thing. The committee's coming. The committee is on its way. Trump refusal and potentially going to prison. There's, there's stuff happening. There's le <laughs> that was vague. Could I be more vague? Um, there's legal, potential legal trouble going on. But I'm getting it may have more to do with the committee. So, I, and I've got weak energy here of, of the DOJ doing something about Meadows, but they'd have to set up, I mean, they'd have to charge him and then we're going to have to wait how long, how many months or a year or whatever until there's even a court date. Anna says, I bet he made a deal. Lisa Graham, I agree. We know appeasement does not work against fascism. I'm just not getting, I'm just not getting strong energy about this. I know that I know, I know there's some readers out there where it seems like they're always just, okay, I've got an answer. I've got an answer. I've got an answer. But sometimes I'm just getting weak energy. Fran, I've never, I've never picked up on, on Trump going to prison. Three of Pentacles, the plan, the details. World, Queen of Wands, Five of Pentacles. And there are, there are people involved in the January 6th mess who are going to find themselves in legal trouble. And an end to this nonsense. Maybe then something will happen. But um, the energy of the committee coming out with their findings is stronger than the energy of the DOJ finally charging Meadows like they should. Thank you, Vicki. And a bigger fish to fry? I guess so. Well, let's just go. We'll move on from here. 4930. Oh, Trump. This is vile. But it's not really surprising. So 
New evidence emerges that Trump purposely withheld aid and funding from, uh, from states where he felt the governors were not friendly to him, forcing them to grovel to him to get help. Quote, you have to call me and ask me nicely, unquote. That's sick, but we know he's sick. Will he be, will Trump be held accountable? I would think so, but uh, did you see the link I sent to you? No, I'm afraid I haven't. It was on Twitter. I haven't been in. Or was there comments? I just, I, I didn't, I didn't look at stuff like that yesterday. I'm afraid. Holly and France says Garland is known for keeping everything under wraps until he strikes with a very heavy mallet. That's the way he prosecuted the Oklahoma City bombing. Well, that's good for him. Anyway, no, I appreciate you saying that, Holly. I'm just, I'm frustrated with him. But Trump, what is going wrong here? I don't know. Uh, so Trump said, you have to call me and ask me nicely for aid. Nicely. Six of Cups, people needed aid, people needed help. Being part of a, he specifically, I know he specifically said that to Newsom, but apparently it's not just Newsom, it's my understanding, I could be wrong. Electra Storm says it's not new information that that was already out there, but now there is evidence he did. He only helped the red states and made the blue states beg. New York governor had to beg for help during COVID. Yes, exactly. Well, Queen of Swords, that can be an investigation. Messages of, of that's a page of, page of wands, eight of pentacles. It was also where money went and where it didn't because there are many people who benefited from all the COVID money. Two of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. So this is an investigation, but it has, <clears throat> it has more to do with who got, who got, um, it's, it's who got COVID money and who should not have been getting COVID money. And this is merchants, this is working. Yes, the, the pandemic hurt all businesses to some extent, but an investigation of the messages, how things were done, it, it feels like it's gonna get folded in on related stuff. It's not going to be singled out. And will there be accountability for where that PPP money went? Corruption, devil. Seven of Wands, Knight of Swords, Five of Swords. They're going after, they're going after companies. Um, eh. So. All right. Next up on the hit parade. We have got, oh, we're going to Ukraine. Fifty five minutes in. Now 
Now, this is what is happening on Russian social media. All right, we're going to read on it because I know some people are going to run across this and be like, oh my gosh, you know. All right, we're going to we're going to lower the freak out level down. 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 Okay. Russians make a lot of noise. People up in the government around Putin make a lot of noise. It doesn't necessarily mean these things are going to happen. Okay. I've not picked up on you know, big explosions, let's put it that way. Um, but I just, I thought we should check what's going on with Russian state TV, Russian propaganda, because of these kinds of quotes. Russian state media is now seemingly preparing its viewers for a fully escalated war and an imminent nuclear threat. We're all going to die someday. Yeah. But we don't need to die because of you. We're all going to die someday, but we will go to heaven while they will simply croak. Croak? Did they translate that from the Russian? <laughs> Quote, this is a historical event, something we're used to. Let's be worthy of our predecessors, everyone who lived through that. What makes us think that our lives should be better than those of our grandparents? Why should we be free of our historical mission? Unquote. Will the Russian people stand up against this insane propaganda? Or I don't know if that the people will, but... I, are they really going to try to make good on this stupid propaganda? Because that's just vile. Do they get 72 virgins too? Please. Well, first of all, are there Russian, are there Russian people buying it? Oh yes, we will all die and go to heaven. Yes. Sure. Fine. Get me get me out of this country. Brown says the idea that suffering is part of Slavic pride is pretty widespread. Slavs know how to suffer. I'm laughing because I'm my mother's side. Uh, I'm one quarter Croatian, three quarter Slovenian. So, um, all right. Military leader, motherland. I can almost, I can, it's like I can, I can just, I can hear the patriotic music and see the banners waving of, and it's like, Okay, that's just scaring the kids. Quit that. Quit it. Quit. Quit. Sit down. Put the down. Put the microphone down. You're scaring the children. Don't be stupid. Joan Bennett has a point. Joan, just, I'm sorry, Joan Barrett. Forgive me, please. Joan Barrett has a point. Russian state is more likely trying to scare its people more because they're losing so many military, trying to hype more folks into joining and fighting and dying for the cause. So this is this is this is the, the plan, huh? Really? Two of the major arcana secrets, higher wisdom. It can be propaganda. Seven of cups, eight of cups. I'm trying to rile people's emotions up with nonsense. 
strength. We are strong. We are strong. Three of swords. Emperor for the emperor. This this whole thing, it feels like this. It's it's flim flam. It's puffery. It's 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 like watching it's like watching North Korean television. You know, where it's patriotism and the, the greatness and the so is Putin just completely lost his marbles or are they trying to talk to people into joining the military? Uh, what, what, why? What is this? At Putin. Putin's at the center of it. Okay. Queen of Wands. Page of Pentacles. Hierophant. This is the government. Oh, I'm definitely trying to get pe more people involved. Also explain how, make it things look so more serious so people are more willing to put up with the um, economic pain. That's, that's a big part of it. Put up with the economic pain. And is, is Putin an idiot? Is he actually going to use something use something with radiation I'm getting there's some people there's there's some people around him there are a couple if there it's like two people two or three people around him that have like quietly made a little agreement that they won't let him doesn't even seem possible. Nine of Pentacles. He thinks he can do whatever he wants. Again, lies. Three of Cups. Knight of. It's a, it's a big showy thing. I mean, this is this is the equivalent of a cat being like, I gotta make myself look big. Um. That's not effective. That's not, that's not really the most effective fighting. You know, you don't want to be where the horse is going to, the front hooves are going to land, but it's it's showy. It's big and it's showy because Ukraine is winning. There, there are no, there's no major arcana here. There's no death. There's no tower. There's no devil. There's no... That's what I'm, I'm just, I, so next time you run across something and the Russians are doing the whole flag waving, we're going to go nuclear, blah, 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 just. Yeah. Anna says, I saw pictures of food trucks and lines of people in Russia, it's getting tougher over there. Oh yeah, the economy is just cracking. All right. All right, 104. Okay, we're going, we're going international here. Good, good. 104. This is from Gretchen. People in Shanghai have been in lockdown for two weeks. It's now been extended indefinitely. How are they doing? Badly. Uh, yeah. The, the people, they don't have enough supplies. It's bad. Now I've got, um, Hippie Jippy says, am I the only one thinking of the song Love is a Battlefield? No, actually, um, um, I think it would be more the Hamilton equivalent of uh, you'll be back. They'll send a full battalion to remind you of my love. Da, 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 da.
government could be handling this better. Ten of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. These are these are families. These are these are family, big families. And they're locked up together. And you'll get arrested if you make noise on your balcony, if you sing or if you you know, cry out that you're hungry, your family's hungry. Queen of Swords. Five of Wands, Seven of Swords, Sun. Um, there's, there's looting and theft because the government is, needs to ramp things up. It, it will get better, but there's a gap where it's, pretty lawless and, and desperate. Shanghai. All right, China, are you gonna do gonna help really do what you should help your people? Families. Strength. Strength. Three of Cups. Star. Yeah, they'll they'll sort it out eventually. But it's just gonna take a little time. So all right. At 107.30, what have we got next? Some US domestic stuff. One oh seven thirty. Rainbow sixty five asks, "What's the latest on Dingy Thomas?" I like that. Oh, din yeah, dingy, dingy or dingy. Dingy, Dingy Thomas. Well, let's have a look. Thank you for being here. All right, 108. J. Thomas. Well, the January 6th Select Committee is going to start their hearings. When is it? One, two, three, four, five. Just under six weeks from now. And your name may be coming up. Jenny Thomas. God will protect me. The righteous shall win. Thank you, Fair Lily. The Emperor, well, her husband. And God. Ten of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. Thomas. Three of Swords. Magician, Queen of Swords. Yeah. All right, it, she's yeah, between her husband and her her God. You know they are above all, and she is protected by them, and and it's. I understand different people have different 
religious beliefs, and I'm okay with that. But this is, you know, when when your religious beliefs involve overthrowing a democratic democratically elected government, no, no. Fire Sky is saying the DOJ is suing Bannon for three million dollars. That's crazy. But anyway, so she's at one with the great patriarchy and the family and um, but there is a sort of truth and the truth hurts. She's going to have some legal problems. But right now she's everything, she's putting everything in God's hands and, and what have you. But I have a big old judgment card right here. Let's see if I can anything else. Jenny Thomas. Suburban housewife. Once a cultist, always a cultist. We will go to heaven and the others will croak. Yes. Oh boy. What's going on with Jenny Thomas? What's going to happen with Jenny Thomas? Just three more cards. Yes, Janelle. Only the best people. Janelle Espinosa. Yes. All right. Six of Cups. Five of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. This is how she funded it, it coming out and being known that she she looked on the poor people just trying to stand up for democracy uh and her they have money and power so they're giving a little to the little people for the she was involved that's what the cards are saying entertainment only but that's what that's what the cards are saying thank you justin simon thank you thank you all right Al Menzi says, I'm getting sick of their righteous justification. You know you have made God in your image when he hates the same people you do. Yep. The thing about doing these readings, I don't always get good things for the people I like and bad things for the people I don't. It's not how it works. It's not how the world works. Hippie Gypsy asks, how could you believe in a God who only loves a limited number of people? That's sad. Yeah, it is. One thirteen thirty. Okay, Jennifer Johnson had a question. Jennifer, first question. Okay, so will ethics complaints on Madison Cawthorn's own self-destructive actions result in him being removed from office. Well, we kind of looked at him earlier, but we can pull a few more cards. Did I go through everything? Did I go through all the... No, I missed a bunch of stuff. Okay, I was going to say that. Doesn't... Let's skip Cawthorn because I, I want to make sure I get these other things. We looked at him at the beginning. Um, let's say one... 114 114 30 114 30 okay both Putin and Zelensky are planning to attend the G20 summit uh November 15th to the 16th in Bali Um, and you'd think, well, why would they let Putin in? And then the Indonesian person setting the whole thing up says, oh, no, Putin's invited. 
and Biden has said he's going. What? <laughs> uh, so the potential of Putin and Zelensky being at the G20 in mid-November in Bali. Okay, is that going to happen? Lecture Storm is asking, how is Putin still part of the G20? He should be kicked out. Yeah. Deborah Murphy says a lot can happen between now and then. I agree. I agree. That's why I'm just like, what? Hi, yay, yay. Putin and Zelensky. Sitting at the G20. Putin, K-I-L-L-I-N-G. Star. Okay. It's a lot. All right. Temperance. Hierophant. Queen of Swords. Three of Swords. <clears throat> Eight of Swords. Hey, Putin, hey, you want to go and you want people to tell you to your face that we're not helping your economy? Sure. This military stuff that happened, yeah, consequences, dude. Temperance. What do you think, Bubu? What do you think, good kitty? What do you think, sweetheart? Do you think they're going to the G20 in November? G20 mid-November. And Zelensky. Does Don ask, will he actually come out of his bunker when he's so paranoid to go to that? There you go. Deborah Murphy, I believe, is being sarcastic. I'm putting that on my calendar for sure. <laughs> you invited who? Oh, little bullies. Page of Swords, Four of Wands, Nine of pe uh, Pentacles. She's, the other countries are fine. Al Menzi says, oh my gosh, the invite list is bonkers. Yes, the bullies of the world. Just the childish bullies of the world coming to the big... The place with the banners and the... the with the countries who do have money. But I am, um, I'm not really feeling like Putin. I'm not getting like Putin Zelensky, I don't think. Well, Putin, both Putin, uh, Vlad, Vladimir Putin and um, Zelensky, well, they Go to the G20. With all the damage coming. Five of Pentacles, six of Pentacles. They need money working. They both countries need money, but I'm getting both countries. I don't know about these two in particular. I'm getting both countries needing to go there, trying to rebuild needing needing money to rebuild so we'll check back but that's what i'm getting right now i'm i'm not specifically getting cards for putin or Zelensky, um and that does not necessarily mean they can't that they're like no longer on the planet i'm just saying i'm not getting them at the g20 at least not right now so we'll check we'll check back in 
All right, at 120 and a bit. Now, this, I don't, I don't even, this isn't even really a something to read on. Um, I don't even know if there's anything to read on here, but I had to mention it. Ukraine. Ukraine's Holocaust survivors, who are quite old now, but Holocaust survivors in Ukraine are escaping the country by fleeing to Germany. 78 of them made it to Poland, where they're being taken by an envoy to Germany, where they are being offered respite in a special care facility, apparently one of the nicest special care facilities in the country. So Holocaust survivors in Ukraine are being welcomed, invited and welcomed to Germany. I guess good. Queen of Pentacles. Death. Six of Wands, Four of Wands. Um, there's, okay, they're they're going and um, good for them. I, I, I guess I, I don't even know if there's anything to read here. That just blew my mind. So, all right. So 120 to 15, make a note here. It's not a reading. All right. And then here, I put this in a couple days ago and I just didn't get to it until now. But, oh my gosh. Rand Paul. So Rand Paul ignites clash at the Senate hearing by suggesting Ukraine is a part of Russia. Did you guys hear this? Do I still have, I, at one point I had the link up. Oh, I have something to share. And I just, I, Rand Paul, Rand Paul, how, what, you, I, um, hang on, Rand Paul ignites clash at, here we go. Rand Paul ignites clash at the Senate hearing by suggesting Ukraine is part of Russia. Oh, jeez. Let me see if I... Well, there's no justification for Putin's war on Ukraine. So... It does not follow that there's no explanation for the invasion. Hang on, let me John see if John Mearsheimer hear writes that the trouble over Ukraine actually started at NATO's Bucharest summit in 2008 when George W. Bush administration pushed the alliance to announce that Ukraine and Georgia will become members. Even with this 2008 announcement, though, most analysts acknowledge that there was unlikely that either country would ever be admitted to NATO because of opposition from France and Germany. Nevertheless, the U.S., including the Biden administration, insisted on beating the drums to admit Ukraine to NATO. Just last fall, you signed the U.S.-Ukraine Charter on Strategic Partnership, which renewed a commitment to the 2008 Bucharest Declaration supporting Ukrainian admission to NATO. Knowing full well that Ukraine was unlikely to ever join NATO since it had already been 14 years since they were said they were going to become members, 
why was it so important last fall before this invasion to continue agitating for Ukraine's admission to NATO? Thank you, Senator. Um, not a question of agitating for uh, Ukraine's admission. It's a question of standing up for the basic principle that we strongly adhere to, that uh, there should be uh, and will be an open door policy when it comes to NATO membership. These are sovereign decisions for European countries to make, and of course, a decision for the NATO alliance to make uh, in terms of making sure that a country that wishes to join uh, actually adds uh, value to NATO. But this goes to the, the heart of uh, the international system and the international order. And part of that um, is uh, a basic principle that one country can't dictate to another the choices it makes about with whom it allies, uh, its foreign policies, uh, its, um, its uh, decision or not uh, to try to engage with the European Union, uh, with NATO. Uh, the other thing I'd yet, say is as we speak and we see the destruction in Ukraine, we also hear pronouncements from President Zelensky saying, well, you know what, maybe we might consider neutrality as a possibility. There could have been voices before this invasion, instead of agitating for something that we knew our adversary absolutely hated and said was a red line as uh, recently as last September, before you signed the agreement, once again, agitating for NATO, Russia said that it was a red line. Now, there is no justification for the invasion. I'm not saying that, but there are reasons for the invasion, and I think it's added nothing. In fact, had Ukraine been in NATO, as you've advocated for and many others have advocated for, we would now have troops in Ukraine. We may still have the destruction, but we would also have troops in Ukraine. If you were to put them in now, if it's still your policy that you want them in now, we would, that means American troops go. The one good thing about them not being in is the most bellicose of our members here are not advocating for U.S. troops right now. That's a good thing. We have not had advocacy for U.S. troops because they're not part of NATO. Had they been or are they to become part of NATO, that means U.S. soldiers will be fighting in Ukraine, and that's something I very much oppose. Senator, could I just say to that, because it's an, look, these, these are important uh, conversations and arguments. My judgment is different. Uh, if you look at the countries that Russia has attacked uh, over the last years, Georgia, uh, leaving forces in Transnistria and Moldova, and then repeatedly Ukraine, these were countries that were not part of NATO. Uh, it has not attacked NATO countries uh, for probably you a very could, good reason. You could also argue the countries they've attacked were part of Russia. Well, that uh, I, or we're part of the Soviet Union. Yes, and I, fir I firmly disagree with, uh, with with that proposition. It is the fundamental right of these countries to decide their own future and their own destiny. And I'm not here's, saying here's, it's not, here's but I'm saying that the countries that have been attacked, Georgia and Ukraine, were part of the Soviet Union. And that does were, not and they Russia were part of right the Soviet Union since the 1920s. But that does not that does not give Russia the right to attack them on the no contrary. No one's saying it does, they were, but it they were really has nothing to from do. from being part of this uh, empire by force. Let me just say this, because I do think it's important. If you look at why President Putin went, to, went into Ukraine this time, we took very seriously the arguments that some Russians were putting forward back last fall, that they had concerns about Ukraine's eventual membership in NATO in terms of their Okay. Well, they were, they were a part of the Soviet Union. That doesn't give Russia the right to invade them, to attack them, to... Are you kidding me? So, I will quickly share this because I had forgotten about this. I would completely forgotten about this. God rest his soul. Oh, wait. Hang on, let me, it opened a, it opened a different, uh, it opened a different thing. Let me change over. Oh my gosh. I completely forgotten about this. Here. Legislative session. Mr. Is there President? A Is it Senator from Kentucky. I object. Objection is heard. Mr. President, I note this the, the Senator, Senator from Kentucky Kirsten. leaving the floor without justification or rather or any rationale for the action that he has just taken. That is really remarkable that a senator 
blocking a treaty that is supported by the overwhelming number, perhaps 98 at least, of his colleagues would come to the floor and object and walk away, and walk away. The only conclusion you can draw when he walks away is he has no argument to be made. He has no justification for his objection to having a small nation be part of NATO that is under assault from the Russians. So I repeat again, the senator from Kentucky is now working for Vladimir Putin. I yield the floor. God rest his soul. So, Rand Paul, how deep in Putin's pockets are you? I'm trying to get into his energy. Um, to, to I'm trying to get into Rand Paul's energy to get a sense of, you know, what, what are his motivations here? What is he thinking? And all I'm getting is, is like his chakras like being crumpled, like pieces of paper. Like if you take a piece of paper and you crumpled it, you crumpled it up into a ball, you bought it up into a ball. That's what, that's what his, these, um, the chakras feel like. I mean, we're talking about a man who was named after Ayn Rand. And that is actually how you say it. A-Y-N is Ayn. Rhymes with mine. And I know that because I read her biography by the uh, co-worker and a woman that Ayn Rand had an affair her with her husband for years. Lovely people. Um, this is... This mentality is you do whatever you want. It really is laissez-faire capitalism, but it is also a total free-for-all. It's just laissez-faire, hands-off. You do whatever you want. That is, that is the core of libertarianism and Ayn Rand's philosophy. Queen of Pentacles. Maybe that's her. Maybe that's her right there. But there's no. Um, it, it's. I mean, literally, part of the tenets and something she wrote. Uh, one of her books is actually called. Uh, I believe it was one of her books, or one of her later books. Uh, it was called "The Virtue of Selfishness." You get yours. If I got mine, it's because I earned it. I'm the worker. You're part of a community and you have advantages that and you need to pay back to the community, but they don't know that's anathema. So fruits of labor, my fruits of labor are mine. Like when Jared Kushner uh, was talking about um, PPE stockpiles, and there was a state ask Florida, was it Florida or New York State asking for um, ventilators and whatnot. And Jared Kushner said, this is mine. No, yeah, this is ours. This, this doesn't go to the states. This is ours. It's like, excuse you? You're part of the United States of America. Strength. Five of wands, ten of wands, eight of cups. The, the man has no shame. J 
Joan uh, Barrett is saying Ayn Rand escaped communist Russia and was anti-communism. -com That's how I learned it anyway. Yes, and she, I can understand that she went polar opposite of the control that the Soviet Union had. At the same time, she was mean and she was, she was absolutely selfish. And she would, she got hold of a typewriter so she could write and she would write at all hours, even though it would wake people up. She didn't care. She was gonna write what she was gonna write. She was doing her thing, the virtue of selfishness. And if anybody's read uh, Atlas Shrugged, I got mine. This is people out there fighting for what's theirs. Look how much I got because I earned it. And I'm walking away from these liberal ideas of sharing. You know, will is he is he secretly working for Putin? He'd secretly he'd work with anybody. I mean, it's Anna says I've never heard of her. Sounds like I'm not missing anything. Oh. Yeah, if you're gonna if you're gonna hang around politics, you, you need to know who Ayn Rand is. Atlas shrugged, Fountainhead. Who is John Galt? Um, Wheezy Squeezebox says Ayn Rand tedious writing style. Yeah. Rand Paul, sitting pretty, because I've earned it. No, you didn't. No, you're in a community, you're in a culture, and your family helped set you up, and you're a white male in a dominantly patriarchal society. No, I don't know the community anything. That's why he can go year after year after year, and all this just goes right off his, people hate him, people don't like him. Well, that's that's their trouble. I'm selfish. Yes, I'm selfish. I'm supposed to be. Corruption. Queen of Cups. Four of Pentacles. Nine of Wands and three of Pentacles. Um the anything on the left is corruption uh anything over there will they'll destroy our country um we have to stand up for what's ours and russia russia doesn't doesn't put up with this this isn't the soviet union So it's a but in Russia right now. It's it's an autocrat. It's someone making decisions. It's a strong man making decisions. You know, I'm not gonna lie. It's it is tedious. Um, it's not it's not perfect. But uh, Atlas Shrugged is. I've, I've read worse. I've read worse novels. I've read so much better, but I've read worse novels than Atlas Shrugged. Black Cat Blue Chair, do you have a channel? I was looking for you the other day and I couldn't find you. Tower. He is selfish. He is going to remain selfish. He will die selfish. That is what I'm getting. And that's not something I say about anybody lightly, but I'm getting that clear as a bell. He will not change. Um, the truth can come out. He doesn't care. And he will carry this far right message. He's awful. He's absolutely awful. So, okay, Janelle says these rallies wouldn't happen in Russia. Mm -hmm. Yep. 
changed a lot of, of stuff. Um, yeah, anyway. Goodbye, Rand Paul. You selfish blankety blank. All right, 14030. Okay. And the next question wasn't uh, wasn't a question that was asked, so I'm going to skip that one because I think I had 15 questions today. So I think I've read this will be my 14th reading, something like that. Ballpark. Um, all right. So what does May 9th? Donna Hensley was asking, what does May 9th look like for Putin since it's supposed to be Victory Day? Uh-huh. May 9th for Putin. Which immediately made me think of springtime for Hitler. <laughs> Victory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six of Pentacles, two of Wands, two of Pentacles, eight of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. Card in the middle. Eh. His economy's not in great shape. This is something to, it'll be something to distract the masses. A reason to, for the communication from the Kremlin to people to be listening, maybe. If the economy's bad, uh, he's trying to save it. A lot of raw, raw kind of talking. You don't need me to tell you that. And then uh, Ukraine's over there doing everything it can to survive. That's all I'm getting. I have tried blocking this person or this bot. I'm sorry about this. Block user. Weezy Squeezebox says the ending of Atlas Shrug is ridiculous. John Galt driving his private railroad. A railroad takes the labor of many people to construct and is constructed to transport many people. Yes. Yes. Yeah, and the, the one guy who's a pirate? <laughs> Who the heck is a pirate? Anyway. That's all I'm getting for that. All right. Well, it's 2 o'clock. It's 1.58 p.m. here in Chicago. Thank you so much for being here today. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, I will be right back here tomorrow. In two hours, I'll be over on the Book Art Media channel to do creative sprints. You're always welcome. And other than that, I'll be right back here tomorrow. And then tomorrow evening, Saturday evening, uh, for patrons uh, is the monthly tarot social. You got me for two hours. And we don't usually read on politics. We read on anything you want. And there's usually only about 20 of us. So, oh, it's a big stretch. Oh, that's a big kitty stretch. How you doing? You doing okay? Oh, have you had a good nap? Oh, you have warm toes. Yes, you do. You have warm toes. Oh, we're done. We're done. Yes, we are. We're done. What a good boy you are. Do you want to go? Do you want to peer? There you go. How you doing? Do you know you're a good kitty? Do you know you're a good kitty? Do you know you're a good kitty? Yes, you are. Good boy. Good boy. You want to? Yeah, I'll help you. 
Have a great day, everybody. Okay. Oh, there we go. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow.